What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti checking in from the road once again. Uh, today I am chilling out at a hotel in Buffalo, New York. Earlier, I went to an awesome place called the uh, Buffalo Tap House. Had some really tasty beers, including this crazy Genesee Grand Orange Keller beer. Never seen it before in my life, and it was pretty tasty. It was heavy on the orange. I didn't taste a lot of cran, but Overall, a good beer. If you can find it somewhere, I definitely recommend checking it out. So today for my uh, check-in from the road, I've got this beer called Sour Patch. Uh, it is a passion fruit sour ale. It's from Avondale Brewing Company. I picked it up when I was in Nashville about a week and a half ago. Uh, it's brewed in Birmingham, Alabama. It's a 4.2% sour ale. It's a hazy, tart, fruit-filled sour. One on tap, it gets a 3.75. Beer Advocate, it gets an 86. 3.77 rating, but there's only 12 ratings. So let's check out this beer. And I apologize if you hear some background noise. I am right next to the highway. I hope my camera's not picking that up too horribly as the semis drive by. So let's check this beer out. Obviously, I'm using this shitty little plastic cup I got from the hotel. Uh, I don't have TK's jam jars with me, the ones that he always sticks me with. So I'm stuck with this little uh, plastic cup here, but it it's serviceable. It, 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 it does the job, right? So for color, I also don't have the SRM chart, but that's kind of a normal beer, yellow. A little hazy. Hard to see through the plastic cup. But it's kind of kind of clear, kind of see-through. No head whatsoever. But there is some carbonation going on there. You can see some bubbles stuck to the cup. I don't know if you can see them, but there are a lot of bubbles on the cup. As far as smell goes, it definitely smells like a fruited sour. Very fruity, very like tart smelling. But not not super overpowering. It's not a very strong scent. Uh, I guess let's taste it, see how it is. Pick up a little bit of that carbonation on the tongue, but very faint. It's got some fruitiness, some sourness to it, like maybe some citrus. Uh, but there's nothing overpowering in this beer. It, it's, I don't know that I'm familiar exactly with what passion fruit should taste like. I suppose there's a passion fruit taste to it. And maybe the shitty hotel plastic cup is influencing the, the taste a little bit, but it's very light tasting, not very sour. Get a little bit after the fact, like, like when you've done, when you've eaten the sour candy and you've finished with the sour candy, but you still have some of that like lingering sourness in your mouth. But again, it's not a very strong, it's a very subtle, subtle sourness. But overall, it's a pretty good beer. And if I was using uh, TK's ratings, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. I would try this beer again, and I'm glad that I picked up a six pack of it. Hopefully, I saved one for TK. But I think that about wraps it up for my check-in from the road. Cheers.